Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 83 on SO exam P, so pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I seem you're tempted, let's just dive right in. They tell you a company manufactures um, light bulbs with a distribution of three, or with mean with of three and variance, so variance of x is equal to one. So a customer just keeps buying these light bulbs um, one after the other, and these are all independent. And they're asking how many ends, how many light bulbs can we can this customer purchase such that the light bulb produces light for at least 40 months with a probability of at least 0.9772. So then they're saying, what is the probability that x star, where star means like, um some light bulb times n or the distribution of x times n where n is the number of light bulbs they buy is at least so greater than 40 months with a probability of at least greater than 0.9772 so again x star the mean of x star if there's if we're buying these success in succession we know that if the mean of one light bulb is three the mean of x n light bulb is going to be 3 times n. Likewise, the standard deviation of x star is going to be equal to the square root of the variance times n. So this is equal to square root of n. And what is 0.9772 on the z table? 0.9772 corresponds to 2. But then that thing is, this is saying that from 2, 0 to 2 is 0.9772. But what we're looking for is z is greater than such number. So then z must be equal to negative 2, because if z is greater than negative 2, this value right here is going to be 0.9772. Okay, so then they're saying, if we normalize it, 40 minus the mean, which is whatever, divide by the, this is mean of x star, by the way, x star is equal to negative 2. Okay, and then we know what mean is now we figured it out except we don't know what n is 3n divided by standard deviation which is root n is equal to negative 2 so this just becomes a pretty simple algebraic problem 40 minus 3n is equal to negative 2 root n i'm gonna let n root n be equal to m so if i replace those this becomes 40 minus 3 m squared right because this is because this is technically like n half is equal to m right so then n just by itself must be m squared so this is why this is m squared is equal to negative 2 m all right so i'm bringing the m on this side so you get or i'm actually bringing a 3 m squared and everything on this side so you get 0 is equal to 3 m squared minus 2 m minus 40 is equal to 0 so this just becomes a quadratic formula Again, remembering quadratic formula is a squared plus b squared minus c squared or plus c squared. This is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. Ooh, that's a mouthful. I said it in one breath too. Crazy. Times 2a. So knowing that, this becomes negative, negative. So it's 2 plus or minus square root of b squared. So that's 4 minus 4 times a, that's 3, times c, which is negative 40, divided by 2 times a, which is 3. This becomes 2 plus or minus square root of 4 plus 4 times 40 times 3. So that's 44, the whole thing divided by 6. So the two answers you're going to get is m is equal to 4, or m is equal to negative 10 thirds. But then we know that we're, what we're looking for is n, so we have to put it back into this thing right here. Ooh. So then if m is equal to 4, then n must be equal to the square root of 4, which is 16. And likewise, that's one of the reasons why we didn't reject negative 10 over 3, because when you square a negative, negative 10 over 3, it does become a positive, so we can't reject it just because it's a negative. So we have these two numbers. Where if I do plug this n in for this formula right here, you get 40 minus 100 divided by root 
100 over 3, which is equal to negative 10.39, which does not equal negative 2. So then we know that we can reject this answer, so our n must be equal to 16, which is our answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!